name is Grace Lau and I'm with Global Nomads Group and Students Rebuild, a partnership between the Bezos Family Foundation, Global Nomads Group, and Architecture for Humanity. We are currently in downtown Port-au-Prince, minutes away from the National Palace. We've been on the ground here for the last two weeks to learn and share about the first-hand impacts of the January 12th earthquake, which has forever changed the landscape of this country. Today, we bring to you stories of youth, from secondary students to university students who have survived the earthquake and will be sharing their stories. In addition, we will be featuring NGO and relief workers who have been on the ground since day one. January 12, I was at home sitting in my sturdy room, uh, reading, things like that. And I felt the earthquake. I just ran away to the street. The day of the earthquake, I was joking with my cousin and grandma. And then the step, when I stepped in the house, the house started to shake. I realized that immediately it was an earthquake. I didn't know what was happening. I thought it was a truck that hit the house. People are just like all over the place, running around, crying, screaming. Shouting, digos, 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 help us, help us. Other people were on their knees, asking for forgiveness, and then we started to pray. And there is a school that's near my house. There are some elementary kids in there. Half of the kids died because the building collapsed. It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, things have been changed totally for us in Haiti. Feels, a catastrophe feels just bad. Architecture for Humanity is committed to being in Haiti for two to five years. So during that time period, I think we have the opportunity to do some real great projects. It's great to introduce good architecture, good construction methods, and the new schools that are going to be constructed. I feel extremely outraged by what happened to us, even though it's a natural disaster. That we had so many people that died from um, bad housing. The schools are supposed to be a safe zone for students. And a lot of the schools have collapsed, a lot of students have uh, died in these, in these types of schools that were poorly constructed to start with. We do thank people, everybody from all over the world helping us. And the, the help really, really is needed for the future. Um, it's it's going to take quite a bit of time to rebuild Haiti. But again, we need to step back and do it right this time. And I encourage young people from around the world to stay involved in the process because I think the future of Haiti is the young people. And hopefully they can engage themselves with students from around the world to help them get through this traumatic experience.